So, it's time to talk a bit about reading. And I spent the last hour or so going through the comments. There's been a lot of mentions on reading, uh, book recommendations, how to read more, how to read better, you know, what do I recommend to read. And I decided to do a video here to share with you guys my top tips when it comes to reading, as well as make a special announcement that's something that I'm gonna start doing with this channel. So stick to the end of the video to uh, check out the announcement. So my top tips when it comes to reading, and you guys know that I love to read a lot. And if you're into personal development, you probably read a lot and you're interested in reading a lot more. You're trying to find yourself in a position where you can read more or you can just improve your skills when it comes to reading and retaining information, turning those into actionable things. And in general, finding really cool sources of, okay, this book might be really good for me right now. So that's something I wanted to share with you guys. Here are a couple of tips and I'm gonna just boil it down to three tips right now. I'm gonna talk a lot more about this in the future. So the number one tip of how do you read more? You know, I often get asked, well, how do you read like one to three books per week? You know, what the hell, man? How do you find the time for that? I'm so busy, I have no time, I'm doing my nine to five, and my kids, I don't know, my girlfriend or whatever, you know, like multiple projects at work, back at home, I can't focus. Really, my biggest tip for reading more would be to uh, start listening to audiobooks during the periods of the day when you're not actively focused on something, right? So periods such as cleaning the house or cleaning the dishes or let's say uh, going back from work or going to work where you're not actively focused on doing something or some stuff like let's say preparing dinner, preparing breakfast or let's say just walking to the gym, walking from the gym, even let's say in the gym, like during warm up, you know, you can listen to like the first 20 minutes of the warm up, you can use that. Although I don't recommend listening to the audiobook during the workout because I feel like it is distracting a little bit because in the gym, you truly want to focus on lifting weights, especially if you're doing heavy weights. And um, if you don't care about that, I mean, if you're doing some kind of cardio session, then, uh, then it could be I mean, possible to combine, let's say an incline treadmill walking with uh, some reading and that would be the best way you can kind of use the existing time that you have that you're already doing something but get more out of that time and I feel like when I switch from reading just pure like paperback or books solid books from to audiobooks I mean it felt like I, I just my time this spent reading is tripled or quadrupled I was reading a lot more I was retaining a lot more information as well because now I was thinking actively about what I was reading while I was listening to it and it was very, very effective. I would say that for me personally, it was kind of a discovery that I found that I love more when I listen to stuff than when I read stuff. And this is why podcasts are getting really, really famous nowadays. You know, people are just go, going for a walk with their dog, they listen to podcasts. So one other way, you know, you'd use Audible or use some other software and you just listen to books. So that would be like my best tip for reading. I think this, if you just simply apply this, you were gonna get about at least an hour of extra potential reading time throughout the day. I mean, you don't need to complicate it. Of course, you could take an expensive speed reading course. You can invest time in that. You can do all these things. I never done any of that stuff. I just focused on switching more to audiobooks and finding places throughout the day where I can really incorporate some of that. And I mean, some months pass that I don't even open a textbook anymore. I just go for audiobooks all the time. If I'm on an airplane, I don't, I mean, I don't want to stress my eyes as well because my eyes are always reading something on a computer screen or they're constantly engaged with these screens and monitors. So it's kind of a cool idea just to let your eyes rest a little bit and just listen, right? Just let the ears uh, do a little bit more. So that's my number one tip for reading more. And of course, as I said, I mean, speed reading, props to all of you guys who are doing that. I personally never done it. I don't know what the end result is, so I won't really comment on that. The second tip that I have is about retaining information. So how do you retain more information and actually turn it into something actionable? And this is a huge issue with reading a lot of books because I mean, when someone says, hey, I'm reading a book a day, Right, and that that's that's an enormous amount of information. Like I, I truly doubt that any person on this planet can just read a book a day and actually do something with the information inside of the book, or except maybe teach it to someone else, and that someone else could take action from based on that. There's no way that you can actually be doing a lot of things. And at the same time, reading a book a day and then implementing all those things that fast that you would need another book. Because if you read books like, let's say, Good to Great, you know, Jim Collins or E-Myth or things like that, 
that stuff takes months to implement, you know, even if you're very, really fast and on point. So I don't think that uh, just by someone just claiming they can read a lot and retain a lot, it's really, really difficult. But here's a quick trick that you can do to, let's say, retain more information and make it into something actionable. So the number one thing is think about how you would teach the concept to someone else. So when you're reading the book, when you're listening to the book, you have the mindset of how would I convey this information in a simple way to someone else that I'm trying to teach this concept to, someone who has no interest in this book. How would I sell this book? If I had to sell this idea from the book to someone else and, and get that someone else to read the book, how would I do that? This is a really cool uh, way to kind of, uh, I, I guess, uh, tune your mind into really focusing on the key areas and the key ideas from the book. So you kind of get rid of that all that fluff and zone in on the big ideas and also on, on how you would teach them and you would actually have to know them yourself. So it really forces you to adapt and it forces you to, to put this into something actionable or at least like write it down in Evernote or in your notepad or whatever you're using to track the ideas. And often when I'm reading a book, I will do that and then I'm gonna turn that into a video for you guys in this, let's say, format. I'm gonna share some of the stuff that I talk about related to behavior science, some of the stuff that I talk about related to practice, motivation, things like that, are typically ideas that I got from some book somewhere and then it kind of grew in my mind for a very, very long time and then I kind of just presented it in the video. So that's the second tip that I have is really think about how you would teach the concept to someone else. The third tip, and I think that's the final tip, is uh, when you're having trouble engaging with the book, and this is a huge thing that I find that a lot of people who are inspired and they want to read more, they feel like they should read more, right? I mean, it's kind of like, hey, cool people read more, so I should read more. And they're forcing themselves to read a lot of content, but it's not the type of content that they're really taking to heart. It's not the type of content that they're resonating with or even applying in their life, and it's just kind of mechanical reading or going through the books or the minutes or whatever your uh, whatever like your audiobook or just going through the pages without necessarily thinking about how does that help you or without thinking well do I resonate with this content you know is this keeping me engaged you know can I stop reading or is it like being me being forceful and it's just going through the content as fast as possible because I can brag then that I've read this book or I can just do some form of review later and my friends will think I'm cool. I find that this is happening a lot in today's age with, with some marketing out there promoting that reading is cool. So a lot of people are doing this now. They're just reading for the sake of reading instead of truly being passionate about the knowledge and seeking out the greatest books. So how can you do this? Well, really the key of um, good reading, uh, let's say reading a book and staying engaged with the book is the fact that you want to find the right book for you in the right moment in time. So let me give you an example here. If I'm struggling with taking action, you know, if I'm struggling with, let's say, overcoming resistance to making videos, if I'm not finding the motivation to plow through that initial barrier, like to, to bust through that initial barrier, I might read something like The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield or something like Turning Pro by Stephen Pressfield or let's say a book uh, that would motivate me, like The Flinch by Julian Smith, and these books that talk about busting through the wall and getting motivated to do things. Uh, things that, let's say, would imp if I'm struggling with productivity and I'm looking to optimize my day, I might read something like Getting Things Done by David Allen. I'm gonna reread that book or something like um, Essentialism, if I find myself that my time is getting robbed by a lot of people and a lot of things happening in my life and I need to cut out certain things to kind of uh, become more essential with the things that I'm focusing on. And then, I mean, a great example with this, when I first started reading is, uh, I heard this idea of, oh man, you should read Eckhart Tolle. You know, Eckhart Tolle is amazing. And I was like, damn, okay. I, mean, I was checking reviews. I was checking like the Goodreads and uh, Amazon reviews. And there's a lot of great reviews. You know, I was thinking, oh man, this is a life changer. And I started reading the book and I, I could not resonate with the single thing in that book. Not a single thing in that book really hit me. And I was like, man, this, this book sucks. You know, this book's horrible. Like, why are people reading this? Why are people bought into this Tolle guy? You know, like some guy on the bench, like what the fuck? You know, why is this important? And um, what, what really happened is that uh, I didn't find that book at the right time, in the right place, in the right moment in my life. And then 
a year later, I was reading Power of Now and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Because a year later, I was at a place and at a time in my life where I needed that book. I needed to focus more on becoming present. But at the, the first time when I started reading the book, I was more like, okay, let's take action. You know, I was taking action. I need something else. You know, I need something like awaken the giant within. You know, I need something that is more about taking action, being decisive, and doing all these things. Like something like Brian Tracy, uh, like um, No Excuses, or Eat That Frog. You know, something to really push me hard. And that's you want to tailor uh, what your current biggest issue is in your life, and read books on that. So if your issue is trusting the process, then you read the books like The Practicing Mind, you know, the books like The Talent Code or the book like Bounce or something that talks about the 10,000 hour rule or something that is uh, similar to the fact that you need deliberate practice, you know, to put in the work and then the outcome will candle itself. And it's very interesting how we deal with different issues that are reoccurring in our lives. So sometimes you don't think about goal setting for a very long time and then all of a sudden goal setting becomes an issue. But then, well, yeah, but when, it, when it kind of becomes an issue again, you read like the one thing, you know, you just read the one thing, the book. And it feels like that book is the right book at that time. And because it's the right book at that time, you will resonate with the content from the book and you will be able to implement the content because that's the solution for the immediate problem. It's kind of difficult to read something that might be useful one day at one time and because someone said you should read it, it, it never works out like that, you know? And it, all these book reviews that I'm gonna start doing, that's kind of a special announcement on the channel, I'm gonna be doing book reviews once a week, is you wanna read what you, res if you resonate with the idea from that, you know? If you don't resonate with the idea, it's probably not a good idea to spend a lot of time on reading the book because you could be reading something else that resonates more with you. And that's a really, really important factor. And I mean, it, it is turning into a longer point, but really pay attention to spend time that you have on something that is gonna get full engagement out of your mind. If you're reading articles on the internet, if you're, let's say, watching the channel, then uh, if you're seeing the videos that, let's say I'm making a lot of videos, you want to read and listen and watch stuff that is related to the actual need that you have in your life right now. And that will also add to the fact that you will retain the information more, it's going to be more actionable, and it's going to help you more, right? If I'm, let's say, right now when I'm a lean bulk, you know, I'm like a lean gaining, and I'm, I'm not interested in reading or doing books or something like that on cutting, you know, it's just not the type of phase that I'm in right now. You know, of course, it's great to learn if you're a coach or something like that, that you can apply that for your clients. Th that's something I'm doing. But if you're someone who is in, if in a specific phase in your life, find content that resonates with that. And that's kind of the final tip as well as a special announcement. So uh, once a week, book review, keeping it very, very simple from a standpoint of a guy who's working, becoming the best version of himself, and that's something that I think will resonate with a lot of you guys. And um, I'm gonna cover a lot of a lot of great titles. I mean, I really, really uh, filter out the books that I'm reading, so I'm rigorous with the, my, my time that I spend on, and a lot of these books you will find in audio format as well, because as I said, you know, I love audiobooks, so this is gonna be kind of interesting for you if you're not used to audiobooks, you will find, uh, maybe you will discover it at, to be your new passion. So yeah, I'm looking forward to putting this out um, to you guys and uh, I'm excited and I will also uh, be leaving those links in the description below of those reviews as well as now I'm going to leave a link to kind of my reading list in the description below so you can check that out and maybe find some titles there that inspire you. So thank you guys for watching and um, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Uh, what do you think about this idea? I mean, will you uh, tune in for those book reviews? Is there some specific book that you kind of want to be reviewed or something that you've read? What is your favorite book? And you would like some opinions on that. So let me know in the comments below how you resonate with the whole idea uh, to add this uh, extra layer to the channel. Aside from that, make sure to hit that subscribe button below to support the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.